We bought a rotten trailer, and in this video, we're going to DIY fix it. This is a 2007 Arctic Fox 25R. The skirt in this model, which is the part that hangs down below the floor level in the trailer, is different from most trailers. The fiberglass or phylon siding is one continuous piece from the roof to the bottom of the skirt. Behind the skirt area is wood. This wood is wrapped in the same waterproof tarp-like material as that which covers the entire bottom of the trailer. The skirt backing wood is wrapped up in the tarp fabric separate from everything else. Water was able to get into this wrapped wood and because it was sealed in, the wood wasn't able to dry and therefore the wood rotted. The first step was to remove all of the trim from the trailer and that way we would be able to see how much rot there actually was in the skirt, if any of it was going to be salvageable, and for the part that wasn't going to be salvageable, how we were going to fix that. We have spent the afternoon doing this. <laughs> That's about as much wood as I could pull up by hand from the backside here over the sewer outlet. And that entire length from there over to there is rotten. Some of it is still really wet, but most of it has dried out. When we cut the black tarp stuff away, when we were still on Vancouver Island, that allowed it to start drying out. It just seems to be a bad design for the wood that's down there, wrapping it in a plastic, supposedly, I think, waterproof tarp. And when water gets into it, it doesn't have any way to dry out. So it just sits there and rots the wood. And what we found when we started taking this all apart was this is oops, the door for where our override for the slide is, where you can hand crank the slide out if you had to. This wood that is now all on the ground here came all the way up to this point here in the side. This part here underneath the linoleum is actually in still really good shape. And you can see this part here is the end of what wraps around the bottom of the trailer. So this goes down and wraps underneath the trailer that way. And the other part, the other black stuff that wrapped the plywood that was in this area came up here. And because it was covered in the plastic, it actually protected this stuff down here, the floor of the trailer from getting rotten. So it's rotten all the way up to here, which means up to about here. Then at the front, we had better news. All of this part here, so there's the front on the driver's side. It's only rotten to about there. It's just a small area. It's like maybe two feet of it. And the rest of it all along here is still in good shape. So we're not gonna have to do anything with it. Hallelujah. How did the water get in there? It seems to be these doors. If you look down in here, that's still all solid in here, but it's underneath here that it seems to be rotten. But you can see that, you know, this is not in here very well. This stuff isn't very thick. I mean, how old is the trailer? It's 14 years old. It just, I think, isn't holding up against the heavy rains that they get on the west coast here. These being built in Oregon, you'd think they'd be aware of the fact that the weather sucks on the West Coast sometimes. So this part is all, my husband's been digging around on this side. It's just the front part of this one as well. It's, it's not as bad as we thought. The back part there, which is next to the stairs, is still pretty solid. So we're going to probably splice a piece of treated wood in where this stuff is gonna be coming out. That part here is saveable. And then back here, we need to replace that little piece in there. And then this back piece here that I showed you in the first video that had soft spots, there seems to be enough good stuff in there that it's also savable that we can probably 
um, stick a supporting piece on against it to save it. So yeah, it's, it's better than we thought it was going to be. I mean, we'd rather not be doing this at all, but you know, it is what it is. It turned out it wasn't savable and the whole piece came out, so we have that whole side to do as well. With all of the rotten wood now removed, we were finally able to begin the rebuild. There's the supervisor. Make sure everything gets done right. Right, Fred? It's tough life. My husband Trevor, who is a complete mastermind at figuring these kinds of things out, built four of these, which are going to slide up into the place where the rotten wood was removed. These two are for the front of the trailer where we were able to save some of the wood and then he built two longer ones where we needed to replace all of the wood for the back. We used Hellman's spar urethane to waterproof all of the new wood as well as the old wood. All of the new wood pieces were glued with PL glue and then screwed into place. Scrap lumber was used to connect the old wood to the new wood. The pieces were glued into place and then clamped until they were good and dry. This was about the only way we could figure to connect the old and the new woods together. PL glue was also applied between the back of the siding and the new wood to hold the siding up against the wood. Everything was clamped until it was dried, but as much as we tried to smooth out the siding, because the PL glue expands when it dries, it tended to leave things looking like the siding was delaminating. We didn't like that look, so we had to think of something to make it look better. We found these sheets of diamond plate metal at Home Depot and cut them so they would fit underneath the doors and go all the way around the bottom of the trailer. And we just love the way it turned out. Doing this also allowed us to be able to screw in through the plates, through the siding and into the wood around the skirt of the trailer, which added a lot of strength to the whole build. As you can see, PL glue was also added to the back of the diamond coat to help it adhere to the siding and seal it. And just for good measure, we sprayed some undercoating on the wood, both new and old, just for that added little bit of protection. The last step in this project was to seal everything. So everything, all the seams got resealed and it was a time consuming job, but you know, it's really worth it. This repair job took us all summer long to do because it was such a hot summer. There were only a few hours that we could actually work outside in the hot sun, 
But once it was done, we were really happy with how it turned out. And if you're interested, we had to do some major reconstruction on our slide as well, which will be in the next video.